You guys will never guess where we are right now. Joshua Tree National Park. <laughs> no, just joking. Obviously arches. We've been waiting to come here in the Moab area for so long now. Finally here. We're so excited. Let's do it. So we just got into the park and like the very first pull off that you come across is this. Park Avenue is what this is called behind us because early explorers said that it reminded them of the big city. And yeah, I guess it kind of does look like skyscraper sort of. Uh, and this is the beginning of arch formation. This fin is what they call it with all the up thrusts of rock uh, eventually who knows how long in the future this will start to form more arches so it's pretty cool that something this incredible is like the first thing you come across first hike here, I wouldn't necessarily call it a hike, it was a very easy walk around Balanced Rock. Uh, it was pretty cool, we got to come here and see Balanced Rock, super iconic. It doesn't look like it does in the pictures as you're walking around it. It's only this angle right here, this is the one that you see in all the pictures online. And there's one angle that it looks like the Lombardi Trophy. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it looks kind of like a football placed on the pedestal for the Super Bowl victory trophy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of blown away that they were able to get a rock that large, that heavy up there and actually balance it. Stop. And I don't know if they like cemented it up there or if Stop. they've got like steel rods, but that's impressive. Why do you it's always really impressive. do that? Do what? Be stupid. <laughs> Oh. Now it, it's cool that uh, you know this is we we get to see things like this at this point in time because Balanced Rock isn't always going to be up there. Eventually, uh, the signs say that um, it'll fall. Yeah, the 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 rock below it is going to erode away and the rock will fall. Uh, there used to be a small rock next to it called Chip Off the Old Block, and that, that did fell back fall. in the 70s. Yeah, 1971. So you know we no, get to 75. 1975. Oh, well, yeah, and so we get to see these things as they are and because one day they're not going to be here. A journey into Arches National Park is stepping into nature's art gallery. Colossal red and orange sandstone sculptures millions of years in the making pervade the landscape. Monstrous sandstone fins, massive balanced rocks, soaring pinnacles and spires, and of course, arches. Boasting over 2,000 arches in its 76,000 acres, this national park contains the highest concentration of natural sandstone arches in the entire world. Although these titanic and towering structures may appear indestructible, the same erosive forces that carve these structures will eventually cause their collapse, such as the fall of Wall Arch in 2008. Although such dramatic changes are rare in the lifespan of a human, it begs the question, if an arch falls in the park and no one is there to witness it, does it make a sound?
You sunbathing? It's nice and warm. I've been cold all day. This is the first time I've been warm. <laughs> it's fantastic. 40 degrees and windy. Mm-hmm. This is the fiery furnace overlook and behind us and down there is the fiery furnace and you can actually walk down there there's, there's a trail that takes you through that and it's supposed to be like a maze of sandstone fins however they only allow 75 people through that trail a day you have to go to the visitor center and get a permit and we arrived at the visitor center at 907 seven minutes after they opened and they were already completely out of permits so to get in there you better get to the visitor center real early and prepare to camp out till it opens. Tapestry arch behind me shows a really good example of, kind of the arch building process. So tapestry arch is an arch, but on either side of it, there are like just these depressions into the sandstone that show the beginnings of an arch because what happens is the layer up top that remains as the arch is more durable than the layer below. So uh, the layer below erodes away either mechanically through freezing, ice, or freezing water that kind of pushes and breaks that away or from chemical erosion like um, slightly acidic rainwater just slowly etches it away or the water just takes it away. So this is kind of cool to be able to see like an arch that has already formed and then on either side of it the beginnings of an arch. We're back home for the night. We chased the sun the whole way home because we were in Arches National Park literally all day, but we got to see so much. We saw even, but what's crazy is even though we saw a ton of arches, there's, there's over, so much more still yeah. to see. Well, not only that, but we didn't see like really any because we there's the over, there's over 2000 arches mm -hmm. in the park. Yeah. I know that there are a ton that we can get to and we still didn't get to all of them. So we're going to have to go back and see more arches. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be back again. So Jenny, mm -hmm. yes. what was your favorite arch? My favorite arch was double arch. Now don't get that confused because there are two arches that start with double. There's double arch and there's double O arch. We have not seen double O arch yet. But double arch was amazing. I do have a runner up though. Now what's that? It is broken arch. And it's just because looking through it and seeing the red fins in the background. There's a plant on top. You can see the LaSalle Mountains <laughs> in the background. A lone plant. It was, that one was really picturesque, but uh, my favorite experience was within um, Double Arch. What about okay. you? My favorite arch, if we're talking the whole arch experience, and not just like the arch itself, because I mean, it wasn't very a very impressive arch, mm -hmm. was a sand dune arch. And that's just because like, as you're walking back to the arch, you go between the sandstone fins and it's almost like you're entering a different park or something, you're, like entering a different section completely. So that was just really cool for me. It reminded me of Joshua Tree because Joshua Tree kind of has those fins too. We're definitely going back into arches a second time because 
there is just so much and we missed out and we've got more time here in Moab so more time plus they're like the most iconic arches of the park we didn't even go to yeah. because it, the sun was setting so yep. so we're definitely yeah we're heading back to to do those and but for the rest of the night going to kick back take it easy and we're going to have dinner with our uh, friends camp. Sarah and Michael. Yep, our friends Sarah and Michael are sharing a camp with us. They're coming over. They're cooking enchiladas. Yeah. They're treating us. They're treating us well. Yeah. I'm only making Brussels, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna share dinner with them and yeah, just have a good night. Yeah. So we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Thanks, These are really good. I don't know if I already said that. They're hot. Really? Hot. Mm. Uh, so spicy wise. Or Actually, meatwise. Well, usually we're the top two. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my first bite ever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're well, the bottom ones are hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this cheese? It's like a bean cheese. Yeah